this young lady with migraine has a very interesting history with a peculiar aura, vestibular migraine, and a very strong parasympathetic outflow uh, component of her migraine that uh, make her a very interesting uh, case. And I want her to share her history with this. So I've had migraines starting um, in my early 20s. I'm currently 39 years old um, with multiple treatments. Um, most recently, over the past couple years, I've had um, migraines where um, that start in the middle of the night around 12 a.m., um, anywhere from 12 to 3, that wake me up. They always start after my menstrual cycle, about one to three days after. Um, they are very intense and start um, in the left side of my head. I will smell the fresh scent of garlic, um, which is also a common aura that my brother also smells when he gets migraine as well. And I should also mention that my mother also gets very intense migraines. Um, my migraines are absolutely disabling. Um, I'm very photophobic, um, can't stand light, can't stand uh, smells. Um, I have to close my eyes. I'm very positionally dizzy and I have to stay in one spot. Um, if I press on this area, I will salivate a lot. Um, I, my stomach is very upset and it will eventually drive me to vomit, which eventually will alleviate the pain in my head. And during those periods of several days at the end of your menstrual cycle, you also are very prone to fainting. Yes, and um, I am positionally very dizzy, both sit to stand, um, standing to sit. Um, my, my balance is very off um, to the point where we've had to treat the dizziness even before I met Dr. Teixito to start treating the, the migraine. Right, so you were taking fludrocortisone to help some with that. Right. And uh, we started treating you with topiramate mm -hmm. and uh, you had a reduction in the headache some, mm -hmm. uh, but not complete elimination, but we increased the dose to a rather standard dose of 50 milligrams twice a day, and now it's been months without a single episode. It has been at least three months. I have been migraine-free. Um, the dizziness is gone, um, and we're talking about possibly eliminating the fludrocortisone, uh, which would be a huge um piece for me to be minus one medication. Yeah, and it may be that now that the migraine is completely controlled, <clears throat> you're no longer having the strong parasympathetic outflow as a general tone and are no longer prone to the, what we call orthostatic dizziness, the dizziness that happens when you stand up. The dizziness that happens from just sitting down is just from movement in general, and that's a part of the vestibular migraine. Mm -hmm. So you have and a very unusual case with a strong parasympathetic outflow causing hypersalivation, causing abdominal distress, and having syncope and low blood pressure. And in addition, you have this very peculiar aura of a strong smell of garlic, which seems to be something that runs in your family. Well, I thank you for sharing your story with us. I'm sure that others will find this interesting. Thank you.